All right, hey, what's going on, everybody? This is LXVE Jetty with a little tutorial for you guys. I'm gonna be teaching, uh, not actually for you guys, really, just for a specific person that might be public um, and anyone else that would like to know how to record it. It's really like a low-key game, so, um, and it's not too difficult to record. Uh, unfortunately, you do need an Xbox or a PlayStation controller um, to be able to play, be plugged into your um, motherfucking computer. So uh, to start it out, this is where you get the MK11 hook tool um, on this guy's website. I'm not going to show you guys the installation. Um, it says literally how to do it right here. Um, like I followed it, which is crazy. Like Crummy held my hand through MW2, but I figured out how to follow like some basic ass instructions. So I'm assuming you guys could too. Um, yeah, so let me show you where the folder is just in case. Uh, make sure... Oh, you guys weren't supposed to see that. Uh, let me just go to my games really quick. I view games. I, oh, don't look at that either. Um, let's see, Mortal Kombat. Uh, let me go to Properties, Local Files, and Browse. Oh, yeah, this game's freaking massive, by the way. And we'll just cover that up right there. So um, let me see where my hook tool is really quick. All right, so uh, I did end up finding it. After you find it, uh, you binaries, go to binaries. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is where you extract it. Um, you go to your MK11, uh, binaries, retail. I got my resheet in here too, by the way. Um, and this is that MK11 hook tool. Um, it will have a bind for F11, if I'm correct, uh, that you can pull up. Um, uh, and that'll pop it up, just kind of like how reshade does, where you press home and it pops up. But yeah, let's get into this so I can uh, show you guys really quick. Oh, uh, this is, so this will come up. If it worked properly, this this EXE will pop up, uh, MK11 hook. Uh, you're going to want that to come up. By the way, I am on the latest version of the game, as well as the latest version of the tool. Um, and this is my reshade kicking off up here in the top left corner. So... Uh, I would recommend you guys use all the latest stuff. Update your MK11. Unfortunately, uh, MK11 is still out and bumping. So, yeah, it's, you know, it kind of sucks that way. Uh, go to your, if you use a GeForce card, you can you can go to GeForce and press Alt F3. Um, you could set this up. New help me set this up. And you can uh, enable sharpening. Uh, which I'm just going to throw sharp sharpening on here. See, MK11 is still here. I'm currently on my controller right now. I'm going to go to... Um, frick, where did I go? I think I went to learn. Uh, I think I'm going to go to... Pro Hold on, let me check something really quick. I think I did go to AI battle. No, to record, you're going to you're gonna want to go to um, learn, practice... That way the bot isn't swinging at you. You don't want to be swung at. We're going to use this boy. And for the example, I'm probably going to use a baddie. Yeah, this baddie in the white clothes. Um, just go to like a simple map. Here it is. A simple map. We're going to be loading in. A matter of fact, I actually forgot the keybind to launch this game uh hold on my pizza might be ready in a little bit but oh fuck damn dude lacking holy cow ssd rcxd i got it all and this shit's freaking lagging like that okay um what you're gonna want to do is disable your hud practice options whoa don't Okay, don't mess with that. I did that by accident. Damage info off. Button log off. Game HUD off. Okay. Okay, this is crazy actually. Okay. So the way I'm pulling this up is I'm pushing on my joysticks, both of them down at the same time. There is a way to pull it up on the keyboard. Is that it right there? Open, close menu. F1. F1, F1. Ooh. Okay, so yeah, F1 is how you do it. So, what you're going to want to do, uh, shout out Rayon Golf for teaching me, drop your speed down and enable it. So now they're in slow motion. All right, so it turns out I got five minutes on that. 
left. Um, oh, that was not supposed to happen. If this happens, guys, if this happens where your screen goes black, I don't know if you can see this right now, but my screen is completely black. I don't know what the heck is going on. It's probably from playing CSGO with wall hacks and the virus probably got in my computer already. But like, my game is black. That's crazy. All right, guys, we're gonna have to restart the tutorial. Sorry about that. All right, guys, we're back. I'm just gonna show you my uh, my settings really quick while I was leaving. I thought that might be a good idea. Oops. Um, Fighter, let me, is it gonna? Oh, can't show you my settings, but everything is on maxed out and I think my game is on full screen, so. Okay, so the way this works, it's actually a little bit tricky. Um, yeah, it's kind of tricky. So let's turn this down to that. Um, let's go to camera. Oh, by the way, when you guys are doing your FO, when you guys are doing your like POVs, um, play a normal game, just set FOV and set it to like 70 or something. Maybe you want to like 60. It looks a little cooler when it's zoomed out, makes the game look, um, more cinematic and then you could throw like black bars on there. But, uh, for this case I'm filming cinematics, so I might be at like, might be at like 30 more fuck. Enable free cam. Uh, I use mouse control. Yeah, and maybe these two. And then, uh, let me press F1 one more time. Okay, so I'm using my mouse. So the, the mouse is good because you can like aim it, right? You can be like, hold on, why are these guys moving so damn fast? Why are they moving so fast? Okay, there. F1. I use my mouse. Um, now, I have a full keyboard. Matter of fact, I have a full keyboard. So, what that means is I have a normal person keyboard. It ain't that half-ass bullshit that all those, that ducky quack shit that people be water rocking. It ain't that. It's a full one. You're going to need yourself a full keyboard and an Xbox controller for this tutorial. Moving on now. This is the way it works. You film it with your keyboard and you play it with your controller. So I'm going to press B and he's going to kick. And then what I'm using is I'm using... Oh my gosh. Hold up, give me this. Oh, I can't tab out of this, can I? Okay, I wouldn't tab out of this because it might freak out. There's somebody calling me, so I'll just answer in a second. I'm using my keyboards. I have numlock on. That's another thing. You're going to have to buy NumLock on. You're going to have to buy an Xbox controller. And you're going to have to buy a keyboard. And you're going to have to buy a pretty heavy computer to edit this game. I'm pressing 8 with my NumLock on. And that's going to move it up. And my arrow keys are what moves the camera. So this is arrow left, arrow right, arrow up, arrow down. So essentially what I want to do is just press B. Or like do a certain action on my controller. Which will control the player. I'd move forward and record it like that. But... It's too fast right now. Let me reset. That's, you know, that's why I just use the mouse. Because because if I get, like, like reset, I could just, like, drive away. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So, probably, like, this is the way I record my, kind of record my Cinemax like new. Um. Well, fuck. How do I get back on here? Okay. Okay, so this is probably good enough. Pull up the Emercom tool. Uh. This is what we're going to want to do. This is the good thing. Right here, I play with 10 on this. And maybe, what is, what is it, 0. 0.7? 0. 0.7 on this? Shout out Rayon God for helping me figure this shit out. Um, F11. So that, what that does, what that just did is it controlled how fast this moves up and down. And how fast I move forward. So... That being said, I'm going to press B. I'm going I'm to start moving forward. So I got two hands on this. You're going to need two hands. Buy yourself a double hand. Press B. I'm going to be moving forward. Press B. Moving that camera up. Missed his ass. I'm going to scoot forward with my guy. Okay, there we go. Probably back up a little bit. My G-Force is already recording for you guys. Make sure that's recording. 
Okay, let's start moving forward. Press B and look up. Damn! All right, that's how you do it right there, and that's it. Yep, there's, n there's, there's, that's it. That's literally just it. You're gonna, you're gonna do that, I guess. So, hey, hope you guys enjoyed the tutorial. I'm probably gonna go eat this pizza and take this call. Probably gonna go cheat some more and see this go. Uh, shout out Crummy for the cheats. Shout out Rayon God for the help. Shout out Emercom for the tool. Shout out MK11 for the game. Shout out YouTube for being able to post this. You guys take it easy.